What's up, people? How y'all doing? Um, this is load number eight. Let me let me explain something to you, right? That load that I took down to Florida. I was coming from Arizona. Everybody's talking about don't take cheap freight. Well, I was very disappointed in myself. That whole trip to Florida, and it was north of Miami Beach. And then I get down there and there's really, really nothing popping. All right, I delivered a load on Monday. You know, I sat in Fort Pierce. Um, I should have went to the beach. I should have went to the marina because that's, I like looking at water, listening to water, looking at the boats come in and out. I like that. Um, but I was cool with just sitting in Fort Pierce and then I delivered Monday. The Monday I sat, I woke up Tuesday, laid in the bed to 10 o'clock, 10, 11. At that point I knew, I was like, you know what? I'm not even in the mood. So I had a funky day. Wednesday, well no, Tuesday. I finally found a load. I was looking at some stuff. Um, I know Jacksonville when I was with Mercer. Well, first of all, I went from North Miami Beach up to Vero Beach, where the TA is. And then I was trying to find uh, a boat for my leaf spring. So let me go ahead and show you what that's about. <clears throat> I don't even know if I did on the other one. I know I talked about it, but I don't know if I showed it to you. I might have showed it to you. I mean, all these days are just running together. Plus, I need to add some oil. I need to put some oil in on this truck. But let's just, uh, let's just cover this. Yeah, I mean, you know, I did. I remember. Because I had them put the, uh, what's the name in on? Uh, let me see here. There's the boat. The new boat with that sleeve. That sleeve, whoops, that sleeve right there's gotta come off. I gotta put another one in there. I might just be able to find something. But anyway, let's just get back to me. Okay, so, I was feeling kind of funky. And I, um, Jacksonville, when I was with Mercer, they have this, um, concrete floating dock I've done that a couple times out of Jacksonville and then Panama City they have AC units so I was looking in those areas and nothing nothing was Mercer like nothing where I wanted to go or wasn't paying right and uh, and then when looking on the low board stuff was heavy heavy not paying anything short paying like two dollars so then I got that insulation load, eleven hundred dollars. I had a dead hit five hundred, uh, five hundred, three hundred miles from Vero Beach, TA, which I did. Stopped at my favorite TA over there on seventy-five, so I went like thirty miles out of route. I had to come back, got loaded, and just drove up here, man. Just, just chilled and drove up to North Carolina, dropped off that load. And then on the way up here to North Carolina, I found another load from South Carolina going back on to Michigan. And that's what I got. And it's still rebar. Or steel bars, rather. And um, once I did that, I felt comfortable. I felt good. And I think what it is is that I was tired of being in dead in areas with no outlook. Because, you know. It all started when I went to Houston, then I got that load going from Houston or Silsby, Texas to Yuma, Arizona, and then from Phoenix, Arizona to North Miami Beach. So let's see, 47 and 52, 7, 8, 9, 9, that's about $10,000 in two weeks. That's $5,000, right? But, the, but coming back from Phoenix to Miami, I spent $2,200 of that of that 52 and then after love took that three percent of factoring I only had five thousand dollars so that's roughly two thousand dollars 
2200 so three twenty eight hundred dollars I got it's not good man not good at all so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to I'm just going to uh, try and show the run some more money um, this is the tarp it looks messy but uh, guess what it's holding up and uh, what I did was I checked this out somebody told me or I saw somebody do it and just hook it to your frame that's simple and it helps uh, I need to check my straps um, I need to do what uh, Super Trucker Dan did and shake cut these off so they don't stick out as much because these will tear my tarp and it makes for a very ugly tarp job if these didn't stick out so much then I could just use this and pull it tight but instead I have, let me try to turn this. Oh, shit. I can't do it while you can. There we go. Turn it that way. All right, man. I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, yep. I'll probably be off for a week. Maybe not. I know I'm be off on the weekend. I'm going to deliver this load on Monday. Uh, today's Thursday, so I'm going to get there Saturday morning probably. Get another 34 in. Just go home, lay in my bed, take a shower, eat some some of my food. <laughs> I ain't eating my food, but I, I need to. I need to make some more food. I need to change. I need to get me another uh, refrigerator for this truck. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go, man. I'm I'm depressing myself. Peace out.